guys, this is Jenny from Guild Mortgage. And this is Will, and we're here for your weekly wrap up, and we're gonna get right into it. And I got a very, very um, good tip for you guys, and it's a safety tip, and it's a crucial tip. And uh, I just watched a video, and I wanted to get this out to you right away. I know a lot of you, um, I know you um, take a lot of pictures with your smartphone, and uh, whether it's on your smartphone or whether it's just on a regular phone, when you and then you post it online, did you know that people can actually trace to your address where that picture came from? And basically, here's what you do to resolve that issue: is basically go to your phone and take off either the GPS feature on your phone, or go to your camera, go to settings, and then hit your camera and turn off the geo tracking. Because here's what happens: is that when you take a picture with your um, phone and you post it online. There is a software out there that um, people can actually go on there and find out exactly where you took that picture from, all the way down to your address. So do yourself a favor, it's a big um, safety issue, turn that off and for more details on it, I put a link to the video that I actually watched that scared the crap out of me and watch it and it'll give you some tips and another website on how to adjust your phone, whether you have an iPhone, an HTC phone, an Android phone, watch it, it's a um, safety tip, take it seriously. And for all you guys that celebrate Easter out there, um, did you guys know where the Easter Bunny came from? Well, we know today that it was influenced by the German traditions dating back to the 1500s, where German children believed that Osterhaus, it was a magical rabbit, would leave a, a, a nest of colored Easter eggs if they were good during Easter time. And so um, the Pennsylvania Dutch settlers brought this tradition to the Americas in the 1700s, and that's how kind of the tradition with our little kiddos started. Great. And again, don't forget, guys, before you throw that loan away, give us a call today. Give us a second chance to look at that loan because we have done a lot of loans where other lenders have not been able to take care of them, been able to do them or close them. So send them over. Give us a call today. If you have any loans that are in trouble or that have been turned down, let's take a second look at it. And again, thank you for letting us be a part of your day. I hope you have a, you and your family have a great Easter weekend. And uh, we'll see you next week on the Friday Weekly Wrap-Up.